Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today, we're reviewing the first ever orphan barrel I've got my tiny little paws on. Today, we're reviewing Orphan Barrel. Fable and Folly. Oh by golly. This is Orphan Barrel. Fable and Folly. The label is textured and nice. It makes me feel like I'm petting a furry wall or something. Like I smoked a Jeffrey, possibly. It has some sort of a creature on there that has four legs, a bushy tail, some wings, a harp, some horns, and a fox face. If you had to ask this animal its origin or what type of animal it was, this animal would probably tell you that it was just one made up piece of shit, to be totally honest. They tried to make it look cute and musical, but it looks, honestly, it looks like a piece of shit. It looks like a shitty animal. It looks like a shitty animal that nobody ever would believe existed. Hey, stupid animal. Hey, stupid animal that doesn't exist. Can you play the harp? or whatever instrument that is. Oh, you can? Obviously you can, because you're made up. You stupid idiot animal. I would take an arrow and put it through your liver. I would take an arrow and puncture your lungs with it. I would bring you home and I would cook up some backstrap. And when my guests asked me what they were eating, you know what I would say? I don't have any idea. It's a four-legged, fox-faced, flying, horn-having, harp-playing mystery of a mother f***ing animal. That's what I would say. <laughs> America. Orphan Barrel Whiskey Distilling Co. Fable and Folly. Aged 14 years. Finest quality whiskey. Harmonious creation of character. 90 proof. This bottle cost $150, which is what some bus drivers would call three days worth of work. At Orphan Barrel Whiskey Distilling Co., we pride ourselves in rescuing lost barrels of rare and delicious whiskey. Hidden away and long forgotten in the back of Rick houses. My friend Rick, he's got a bunch of shit lost in the back of his house. I think he actually might have an ex-wife back there. Just gone. Nobody knows. While we take craft and quality seriously, we had a little fun bringing these extraordinary whiskeys to life with each of our Marks? M-A-R-Q-U-E-S? Marquez? Marquez? Marks? No f***ing idea. Every Orphan Barrel Whiskey is meticulously bottled with pride to ensure that these rare whiskeys are treated with the care they deserve. Because once they're gone, they're gone forever. Bottle number 59,070. It's very rare. It's very rare. 60,000 bottles. Bottled with pride at Stitzel Weller. When our master blender discovered the last remaining stores of Orphan Barrel Whiskeys from years gone by, he thought it only fitting to share these whiskeys with the world. He married the remaining stocks of Barter House, which I want a bottle of, Forged Oak, which I want a bottle of, and various rhetoric releases with proprietary blend to create a masterpiece that pays homage to the original release releases yet. What the fudge? To create a masterpiece that pays homage to the original releases yet possesses what the fudge and various rhetoric releases with a proprietary blend to create a masterpiece that pays homage to the original releases yet possesses a distinct profile all its own they forgot a comma or something this 14 year old whiskey is a unique balance of age and flavor accenting 
the rich creamy character of the orphaned bourbons with spicy notes of rye and pepper. It begins with a burst of spice and delicately warms to a creamy richness with sweet notes of syrup and fruit. I'll be the judge of that. What does it mean by saying they blended barter house, forged oak, and various rhetoric releases with a proprietary blend? What the heck is a proprietary blend? I mean, I know what a proprietary blend is. In, in nutritional supplements, a proprietary blend means we're not telling you what we put in it because it's probably steroids. In whiskey, a proprietary blend is not probably not steroids, but also they're not telling us what it is. So they took the remaining stocks of Barter House, Forged Oak, and various rhetoric releases and blended them with whatever the hell they wanted to blend them with without telling us. But whatever they blended them with is at least 14 years old. When I first opened this bottle, the first pour, I had what some archaeologists would consider to be an experience that I dug. Ooh, sweet oak. Sweet yet musty oak. A little bit of sweet oak, a little bit of musty oak. The oak is dominating my nasal passages. It reminds me of trying to start a campfire after a rainstorm. If the person trying to help you start the campfire was shit-faced and breathing in your nose. Yeah. Dry peanut butter. Like the PB2 powder. An expired stale Reese's cup. A little bit of pretzel. Although this has some age on it, the nose is a little bit sharp. A tiny bit bitter, actually. A little bit of a nut. Maybe like a pecan. Or a pecan. Alright, not bad. It's sweet and oaky, but a little bit bitter as well. My first sip... I wasn't super impressed, but also I wasn't super depressed, or whatever the opposite of impressed is. I wasn't, I wasn't pressed, or something, Another initial thought after the first sip, this doesn't taste like a $150 bottle of whiskey. This tastes like not a $150 bottle of whiskey. The proof point isn't a $150 proof point. When the proof point is at 90 proof, the experience must make up for that lack of proof in order to garner such a high price tag. If it's a 90 proof bourbon, it's gotta blow your mind, B. It's gotta be a freak in the sheets. Second sip. It's good. It is good. It's sweet. It's oaky. It has a little bit of almond on it. A little bit of sweetened almond. A little bit of sweet oak. If almonds grew on trees, which they might, I have no idea. This tastes like a sweet almond tree. If almond trees were made of oak. I need to forget about the price tag on this because I'm trying not to think about how much it costs. All I'm trying to do is decipher the whiskey in the glass and professionally and precisely review its ass. Do I enjoy it? Absolutely. Do I think it is good? Oh, for sure. Is it great? It's pretty damn good. I do like the oak. I do like the oak. Is it as oily as I would like? No. Is the finish very long? No. Is the palate solid? Yeah. Do they dissipate quicker than I would like? Yeah, they do. Is Fable and Folly a great whiskey? Yes, it is. Am I happy that I purchased Fable and Folly? Not really. This scoring stuff is very difficult, but I'll give Fable and Folly the same score I gave the Tin Cup Tenure, and I think that that was an 8.6 and then you guys can make your decision on what you'd rather purchase. Is this good? Absolutely. It's not worth the price though. The price is really making me mad. Son of a bitch. America. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on creating animals that are at least cute if they're fake.
because the fable and folly, fox, deer, human, flying, harp playing thing, doesn't do it for me. No. Sometimes you try too hard and end up with a stupid idiot looking animal like on the front of this fable and folly. Sometimes you try too hard and have a video that ends up like this, just stupid. But I encourage you to keep trying, but maybe just, I don't even know. I feel like videos like this make me wanna stop making videos. I also feel like videos like this are gonna get me laid by celebrities on the internet. The second thing I said about videos like this is not true. 